We're now going to model the base. So we're going to start another new standard millimeter dot IPT. We're going to do a sketch on the XY plane. Uh, and we know this is a uh, hundred mil square, so you could use the rectangle, you could use the line. Just show you a different way. I'm going to use polygon, but I'm going to do four. So I've got four sides, which of course is a square. I'm going to draw it askew like this, just so I can then show you this vertical, and then put one dimension on. And we've got ourselves our part. And it's defaulted to ten mil, which is actually what we want. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it mid-plane because in a minute when we assemble it I would like the bottom of the base and also the XY plane to be on the bottom of the whole assembly so when we do the render we can use that as say a ground plane to cast a shadow and that sort of thing. So I'm going to leave the uh, thickness at 10mm, I'm going to hit OK and whilst we're here I'm going to change the physical properties, eye properties physical uh, and then this one is wood so I'm going to use uh, an oak, I'm going to apply that and hit close. So we've got this here now, okay. We've got two holes that run through the base here, so I'm just going to do a sketch on this plane, and I'm going to use the point like we normally do for holes. I'm going to horizontally align those two, first of all to each other, and then to the midpoint here. Uh, and we've got the dimensions for these, it's all from this end here, so I'm going to add these two. So, 22. I'm going to hit H for the hole tool and you can see it's picked up both of those centers for us and we've actually got a counter bore hole here so I'm going to start putting in these details so we've got a 3 mil hole that goes which is already defaulted to it's not through all it does have a distance and that distance is 70 mil and there's actually a counter bore of 5 mil in diameter which is 10 mil deep now something that's quite important is when you look on the drawing, and this is something you'll be marked on in competitions, a mistake as small as this could cost you, these blind holes are actually flat bottomed as well. So you can see that by the plan view in the hidden details, you can see that they're actually flat bottomed. So make sure you change the selection over here before you hit OK. So you just check all of these are correct. So we've got a 5mm diameter counter ball which is 10mm deep. And we've got a 3mm hole 70mm deep, so we've got all of that correct. And we've changed the drill point to flat. So I'm going to hit OK. We've got our two holes in there, look. Perfect. So I'm now going to do those um, four holes that are on this top face. So I'm going to do those ones next. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go do two more points down here. And they are horizontally aligned with each other. And I'm actually going to draw a construction line between the two. I'm just going to change the format of that line up here to construction because these are actually around the center point. So I'm going to align these using the midpoint of this line and then the center point. And the distance between those two is 16mm, so I'm going to add a dimension. 16mm. And then the final dimension we need to do is in the Y direction and they're actually 15mm from this bottom face here where the two holes are. Again it's very important you get the orientation right so before I actually do these holes I'm just going to check so yeah I'm at the right edge so I've got these two holes here before I draw these and there's actually four identical holes so we need to do the other two as points but that's how you should do it but I'm just going to show you another way of doing it which would be rectangular patterning this just to show you another tool so I'm going to put these two holes in well, two of four, and they're two mil and they're eight mil deep. So when you change it back to a simple hole, two mil and eight mil deep. And I'm just going to check on the drawings that these, yeah, these aren't flat holes. So we need to again change it back to the angle. Okay, hit okay. So we've now got those two holes that actually penetrate into here. And that will become apparent when we do the assembly why that is. Now we could have done those four points, but I'm actually going to use the rectangular pattern. First thing it asks me is what do you want to pattern? So we want to pattern these two holes. And you need to give it a direction. I'm going to give it this edge here of the base plate. You can see it's actually going in the wrong direction. That's not a problem. You can flip the direction here. And the distance between these two holes, we've got a 66.5mm dimension, which gives us the height from this 
bottom edge here and we know that's 15 millimeters away so of course you don't have to do the mash yourself the inventor can do it for you so I've just put those in there I'm going to hit OK and you can now see we've got our four holes now on the underside of this plate there are another four holes so I'm just going to do a sketch on there and I'm going to do all of these using points okay so then we've got one hole command so I'm going to put all of those points down to start with using the point in our draw so we've got two that are up here and again I've drawn them out of line on purpose and make sure they're all accurate afterwards so these two are vertically aligned with each other they're also vertically aligned with the midpoint and then we've got the bottom two down here which are horizontally aligned and again I'm going to use a construction line Oops. make sure it's green so that I know it's snapping to that and then I'm going to horiz uh, vertically align that with the midpoint as well into the centre point of that line so we've now got all of these got this dimension from here and just to show you uh, I'm accepting this is saying it's going to be a driven dimension and this is what you need to do you always need to double check so I put this dimension in here although it's already constrained by this here we know that this is now correct because there's this 70 dimension is given on our drawing and the final one it needs is the direction in the Y which is the same as the other hole so it's 15 mil and then we're going to do these last two and we've got 54 and this final one 79 so you can now see we're fully constrained, all our geometry is blue and I'm going to press H for the hole tool and these holes are 5.5mm through all so we need to change this to through all and they're counter uh, bores so through all diameter is 5.5 and the counter sink is 10mm diameter and it's actually five mil deep so the opposite of the ones we did earlier and you can see the preview there it's given us and they look about right to the drawing so I hit OK so that's now the underside of our base so press F6 that goes to the home view which is from the top side and you know same as everything in competition you need to double check everything so I'm just going over the drawing just making sure I've got all the holes yep I've got all of them so I'm happy with that so I'm now just going to hit save and of course because our project has gone into the correct place in Windows Explorer I'm going to call that base and then save it.